so Matthew. I am so excited to have my friend Ashley back again with me on the podcast today. Say hi. Hi. And today we are back for episode 80 of the podcast, which is kind of a celebration, everyone. We're getting close to 100. And Ashley's sixth episode on the podcast. Oh my gosh. Wow, so special. You are special. <laughs> You're the first person to hit that number. <gasps> really? Yeah, so you are special. I'm like famous. <laughs> you are famous. I think there's people pretty close, like Mia's creeping up behind you. Mm, I gotta beat her. <laughs> you gotta beat her, of course. And today we are going to be mm-hmm. talking about Frenemies, which is the 2012 Disney Channel original movie starring Zendaya, Bella Thorne, Stephanie Scott, Mary Mauser, Nick Robinson, and so many others. And there's a lot to unpack. There really is a lot to unpack. (laughs) So I let Ashley pick today's episode because, I mean, I always let my guests pick their topic. And Ashley, why did you pick this film? I'm curious. Um, okay, well, part of it is, like, there's so many famous, like, actors now in Mm -hmm. this, like, film, and also, I feel like we also, like, bash it all the time when we always have an episode together. I think we do, too, to be honest with you guys. I, I don't go back and listen to my episodes very often. I do just remember and recall us bashing this movie in at least one, possibly two. It always creeps up. Yeah, it does. It always creeps up in the conversation. It's well, yeah. I mean, there's so many people, and we got what Stephanie Scott, we got Bella mm-hmm. Thorne, Zendaya, Mary Mauser, like a lot of freaking people. I hope I'm saying that night right, Mary Mauser. That's I think right. you are. Yeah, and she's in Cobra Kai right now. Yes, I love Mary Mauser. <laughs> love her, and so many others. Nick Robinson was, I believe, he was in the Love Simon movie. Yeah, and he was in that new TV show, like, Teacher. I've never watched it. I've never watched it. Interesting things. I have also (laughs) heard very interesting things. (laughs) Like, not some good interest. I've seen some small clips. Me too, me too. (laughs) It's very suggestive, like. Mm -hmm. So interesting. (laughs) Very interesting. So most of these people seem to be vibing and thriving. You know, Zendaya, she's in the the Spider-Man movie. Love her. Yes. Um, but before we get into like our chat, like usual, do you have a fun fact you want to make up here on the spot for us? Um. Okay. I have been to 24 musicals. <laughs> Don't know why that was the first thing that came to my head, but <laughs> I mean, was. I love that you have a count. I really yes. do. I love that you have a count. I don't think my number is close to 24. It's probably like <laughs> maybe like 18 or something. I don't know. Okay. Let, me, let me get the list for you because I need, you know, we need to compare because, you know, we're always, we do. Like, we're always competing. So let me pull up my little <laughs> Google slide presentation that I have that I had to make. You have for... a Google slide? <laughs> yeah, because I had to make one for school um, for like music class. Oh, I see. I have okay. it in my notes. <laughs> Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We're up to twenty. Okay, you're oh, close. You're close. We're close. I'm I'm creeping up, and I am dying to see a show right now. Actually, you Me don't understand. Too. So the last show I saw before like COVID was Mean Girls. Oh my gosh. You- I was supposed to see that, but then it got canceled because of COVID. But oh. so I saw it in a different city that is close to my house. However, mm-hmm. they're coming t- back next February to <gasps> really? where I am. And you bet your bottom dollar, I will be there. <laughs> I, I will be there. there. I don't care that I just, I already saw it. Oh my I gosh, that's so funny. Yeah. So. And there's like a couple other ones that I'm going to buy. I want to get tickets to because in the, where I live, I can get a student discount because I'm a high schooler. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of ones like once it's safe again, I believe they're hoping to start up in like October with like yes. their new season. So fingers crossed, everyone. If you're a musical person, 
Uh, I'm wishing you luck. If you're not, I'm sorry that you had to listen to us do that. <laughs> Geek out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just, just a teensy little bit. Okay. But now, as always, oh, wait, I have to share a fun fact. Darn it. Yes, do it. I know. I always, I try to come up with a fun fact. So what is the fun fact for today? My fun fact for today is that I picked out my AP classes for next year. So for anyone who doesn't know what AP is, it's like advanced placement, which is like college level classes. You can take the AP exam to get credit. And so I'm taking Mm -hmm. AP psychology, which I'm excited for. Oh my Uh, gosh. AP AP language and composition. AP Lang is Ah. what the title is. And it's like a lot of essay writing. So I can't wait for that. I love that for me. And then I'm taking AP <laughs> microeconomics, which is only a one oh my semester gosh, course. I hated economics. But I'm kind of excited. I can't uh-huh. explain why, but like I kind of been I've kind of been getting into like the economy a little bit. Okay. And I know That's I'm weird. Cool. I know I'm weird. You don't have to say it, Ashley. You don't have to say it. <laughs> But okay yeah. <laughs> i don't really like the economy but <laughs> i think it's slightly confusing so like and i'm kind of like i said i'm kind of getting like into it a little bit so i'm gonna want to like take a class about it and also apparently it's like pretty good like it's a pretty good class that's cool yeah so i'm I've excited taking one you yeah, are taking it do they offer ap classes where you're from yeah we have like ap government oh and yeah ap like i don't know some science class but Oh. I don't really like school that much. So. Yeah, the, I'm only uh, taking like IB classes, and that's it. It's kind of like the school. same thing, isn't it? Though, um, kind of. I think so. I think like IB just has like a diploma, but I'm not doing the diploma. I'm just taking one class. Oh, good. Yeah, don't waste your time on. It. It's probably like a little cheap paper diploma. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Okay. So for any listeners who are like, come on, just get to the movie already. We're going to start with my, our brief overviews because I love my brief overviews. So Friend of Me is, it, like we said, it came out in 2012, nine years ago, on January 13th, 2012. And stars Zendaya, Bella Thorne, Stephanie Scott, Nick Robinson, Mary Mauser, Connor Price, Jesha Washington, and Dylan Everett, ton of other people, and is written by Daisy Meyer... Davis Slavel, Wendy Wiener. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Jim and Jim Craig. And so it's also based off of a book by Alexa Young, which I did not know was based off of a book until I was doing my notes. Me either. Wow. So like, I'm kind of curious to read the book now because this movie, spoiler mm-hmm. alert, is a little interesting yeah it's a little mm-hmm. it's a little neat uni- it's a, it's unique i can't even speak today guys what okay <laughs> so yes and so the one thing that i think before we really get into it is that the plot is very there's not just one plot yeah but like there's five a but like mm-hmm. five. and so basically it starts off with like a focus on Nick's Nick's character and Stephanie Scott's character and the dog and then it ties into Bella Thorne and Zendaya's thing which then ties in to Mary Mauser's like plot line and then in the end they all come together Mm -hmm. and it's so confusing I was watching (laughs) it like with my sister this Mm -hmm. like finishing off the movie this and so she went to the bathroom and then as soon as she came out, they had like switched to different storyline. And she goes, are you even watching the same movie? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So yeah, there's like, I guess my first little critique is it does, it's slightly confusing. So th- I've never done this before, but when we talk about the plot, we're going to have to break it up into different segments. Mm-hmm. So yeah. there's just a little warning. So it's like, you know, it's a first here on that. So Matthew, but here we go. Let's start off with our first character. Avalon Green, who's played by Bella Thorne. What did you think of her? Um, I I like Bella Thorne. I like Bella Thorne, too. She's a little weird now, though. Yeah, definitely, you know, controversy a little bit. But, like, Mm -hmm. overall, I think she played the character well. I just don't understand, like, the character's name. Like, that's such a weird name. (laughs) I agree. I feel I love Bella Thorne. Don't get me wrong. 
mm-hmm. loved her in Shake It Up. She's a great yeah. actress. But this character was just so uh, written, so simil- similarly, I guess, to her character in Shake It Up. Yes, that's how I felt. They were so similar that I felt like it was just like the same show. Yeah, it was like an extension. And I hate when shows do that. I hate it with a passion. Like Wendy Wu and Get a (laughs) Clue are basically the same as uh, Sweet Life. Like they don't, they didn't change her character like at all. And I see you. I just, it's it's a very similar situation. And I don't know why Zendaya and Bella Thorne are both cast in this together. But I think it made the movie worse. Hot take. I think, yeah, I think they just put it in it because they were so famous at the time of Shake It Up. I think so. But like you would think that because they were in Shake It Up, they wouldn't want to like confuse. Because as a kid, I was so confused. Because like, I was like, they're Shake It Up. But like, this isn't Shake It Up. I just feel like it was unintentional. Like, I'm sure they both auditioned and like Mm -hmm. somehow got the parts. But to me, that kind of made this movie not as good as it could have been. I see you. I Hot see take that. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Avalon, she's just kind of dumb. Like, you know, that ditzy, dumb girl that I hate that right. storyline in like any movie. It's just irritating. Same. And mm-hmm. she's very into fashion. And she kind of just like is always fighting with Hallie at all times. And it's the most annoying thing ever. Because, like, they're always fighting, and, like, she's, she's, like, an annoying fighter, like, if that makes any sense. Like, when she's fighting, she just sounds irritating. Yeah, and also they have, like, horrible comebacks. Oh, my (laughs) gosh. The script is so cringy. (laughs) Yeah. I just don't know. So, yeah, Bella Thorne, love her back then. She's a little controversial now. However, this character I just don't think was good for her. It just felt like Cece, but with a different name. Yeah, shout out to Cece if you're listening. I miss you. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Who used to say that on YouTube? Was it like Karina? Like the slime? Oh, it was the slime girl. My sister used to be obsessed with her. I don't know. Karina Garcia. Do you know who I'm talking about? No. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe it. So, yeah, basically, there's this girl on YouTube named Karina Garcia, and she used to like make slime when mm-hmm. it was popular, and my sister was obsessed with her. Oh my oh, gosh. And okay. so she would always like start her videos be like, hey girl, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. And so yeah, she also I think she's pregnant right now. So Oh, shout show out her. To her. Yeah, Karina Garcia. <laughs> Very interesting. So off off to Zendaya's character, Hallie Brandon. She okay. was a little bit more tolerable, but not much. They just like made her like rocky, like that smart. I mean, it's not bad to be smart, but you know what I mean? Just like Yeah, I I get where you're what you're saying. They yeah. this is basically the same kind of situation where they didn't attempt to make her character stand out from her shake it up counterpart whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and it, yeah. It was really I annoying. love Zendaya though. So I, I love Zendaya too. Like there's no denying it. Like spider-man her song replay from shake it up is a bop (laughs) but i just thought that this was not i don't know just them together in something that wasn't shake it up with the characters being so similar to shake it up it just didn't work for me yeah and it's weird it was weird and hallie basically all she does is like argue like they're always just like trying to fit trying to control each other and it's so annoying i know especially with their fashion sense like yeah avalon would always say something about hallie and it'd be like okay like i thought you guys were like friends i know like the one scene where she was wearing like the like what looked like the scottish clothing or like what yeah, avalon yeah. called it i thought it was kind of cute i was like oh like but then Aval- avalon was like no this is horrible you look like you're from scotland I know, and Avalon literally looked like a five-year-old with her skirts. But we have to remember, this is 2012, so... I know. (laughs) Times have changed. Times have changed. I don't know. Basically, very annoying because on the poster, they, like, say geek versus chic. So we got the chic being Avalon and then the geek as Hallie. But they're both... I don't see her as a geek. Me either. 
I don't think she's that smart. She's like always like arguing. And then her brother is like a whole nother story. Her brother was kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't know. I just was not very happy with like the use of Zendaya and Bella Thorne because I love them to, I love them. I, I just felt that they like did not get like a good enough role slash storyline in this film yeah if they were maybe like one of them were in it with another character maybe but both of them just felt awkward and confusing I agree I really can get behind that and like another here's like another hot take Mm -hmm. like what if they flip-flopped the roles like Zendaya and Bella Thorne I feel like it might have been a teensy little bit better a little better but i don't know if bella could like play a smart what character. hallie was i don't know because yeah. i feel like well i like we said we don't really see her as like a smart character we just see her as like more put together but right. i just feel like zendaya always gets that kind of character and bella thorne always gets like the dumb thing but yeah especially in disney yeah, yeah i just i was just a little annoyed so i'm gonna get like all these like comments like about how i'm like bashing them but like i just don't think that it worked in the way they wanted it to i see but they also their characters are essential to the film because without them that the whole thing wouldn't the come together thing, yeah they're like the narrators kind of a little bit yeah they are narrating because they're on like their website and they're like scrolling on their ipad thing kind of like <laughs> iCarly, like the transitions and iCarly kind of yeah thing. it was a little awk- a- awkward if that makes sense just well, like, I just thought it was weird because, like, they have a picture of them, but then their apps are, like, all in the corners, like, not I blocking know. their faces. I know. Oh, it was so cringy. I wouldn't, I would never do that. It was funny. It's just cringy. I, it was cringe. All right. Up next, we can talk about Mary Mauser's character, Savannah O'Neill slash Emma Reynolds, because she's plays two characters. Let's start off with Savannah. So Savannah mm-hmm. is kind of like a tomboy. She it has a huge crush on jake and jake like has a crush on her Mm -hmm. but he's dating julie ann technically and so it's a little bit of a tough situation she's super jealous but she like rescues the dog so she comes to the rescue she's literally so nice i loved her that i loved her me too and i just love mary mauser in general so overall 10 out of 10 love you savannah love you mary um (laughs) i liked her character i i did too i felt like she was really well cast yes like it she wasn't i don't know if i'm wrong but i don't know if she's like super um famous like actress at that time i don't really think she was they got like a good underrated genuine actress for this part yeah and it just worked so well for me and Mm -hmm. her character like you could even though she was playing two roles you could tell the difference not just by the accent but just how she portrayed them which is something is that is so hard to do yeah i agree like she kind of like did that dove camera thing like before it was cool when they did live in maddie oh (laughs) yeah and I just, I really liked her. And she was, like, the most genuine character, I think, in this entire movie. Because she was always, like, trying to do the best thing. Like, she oh, she knew right away that Stephanie Scott's character was up to no good, Julianne. Mm-hmm. And she, like, tried to protect Jake when Jake clearly did not feel the same way at the time. And I, I admire that a lot. It was kind of, like, the thing that, I don't know, I saw a post about this on Instagram. When you like someone mm-hmm. and they're dating someone else... Or they like someone else as long as they're happy you're happy for them kind of thing okay yeah i see that i see that within her but i feel like she's also like kind of wants to show him like yeah, to she, the end. she's definitely jealous 100 percent. she is yeah. jealous that's like like a whole part of the storyline however <laughs> she doesn't let that get in the way of wanting what's best for him yeah, that's true. That's a good way to put it. And I admire that. So 10 out of 10 for Savannah. And also she's like really talented at skateboarding. And I've always wanted to learn how to skateboard. I could not do that. I personally. actually used to know how to skateboard when oh I was gosh. in middle school. Ashley, I, had I, this... would, I would pay to see this. <laughs> I, had, I had a blue skateboard. But then I remember... I just stopped one day and I was just like, no. <laughs> and then I got like a skater, like, or whatever cruisers or like. Oh, the mm, shoes. Do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I know the wheelie shoes. Ew. Yes. Yeah, I got one of those. But then they got banned from my school, so I couldn't wear them anymore. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but I think it's rather funny. I was pretty cool. They were I pink. can't see you wearing them whatsoever. Like I don't it was think like that's a your personality. Thing at was that my like a school. phase? Was that a phase for you or I don't know. Just like when I was in fifth grade, like everyone had those. I don't know. My fifth grade class, everyone had those. So I got them. But then oh, they so got you, banned. Like, fed into the crowd, Ashley. So you weren't you <laughs> were sorry. a follower, not a I was leader. A follower. <laughs> I was a follower, but they were pretty cool. But I remember mine were like pink. Oh, they fashion were pretty icon, cute. fashion icon. I know everyone else's was black. Yeah, oh, everyone else's so, was black, but so mine were pink. You led your own crowd with your pink shoes. Yep, that's what I did. <laughs> Period. So <laughs> up next, I guess we could talk about her other character, Mary Mouse's other character, which is mm-hmm. Emma, who is like the. Pr- Proper preemie. Wait, preemie. What does that even mean? I, I don't know. I was just going with it, but <laughs> um, proper. I don't even know what I was going for. Just like proper, Ele- elegant, Ele- yeah, divine. Um, like divine. That's all she said when she was like divine. Divine. <laughs> yeah. So she is annoying. Yeah, I agree. I like, mean, just go away. She, he's not yours. <laughs> she like tried to like she. Uh, I mean, she's the reason that Savannah and Jake ended up together in the ending, I guess, because but of not her. In the beginning, but not, not in the beginning. beginning. But yeah. she, oh, she, and then like her boyfriend, like whatever Lance or something, he was mm-hmm. annoying AF. Yes, yes, yes. That's all I'm gonna say. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could not do him. I I was just so annoyed, and so the reason I didn't like her per se is how she talked. Oh, like her accent, kind yeah, of. Yeah, I have nothing against people from England. I mean, I yesterday I recorded an episode with Karina from the Confessions of a Talking Freak podcast, who she has mm-hmm. an English, an England accent, and is literally like the cutest accent ever. However. <laughs> Hers was just annoying. Yeah, I think Mary really needed to work on that. I think she was just trying to, like, show that she can, like, be two different characters, but, like, the same person. Yeah. But it was almost like, "Mm, maybe not that accent. (laughs) I don't know. Maybe it kind of sounded like she was, like, trying to take her her speaking voice, like, up an octave, if that makes sense. I see, yeah. Because she was, like, talking, like, super high. And nothing against anyone whose voice is really high because I had a high beeping voice until like eighth grade. But <laughs> oh my gosh, her voice just was annoying. Yeah, I I mean, I have kind of like a high voice sometimes, but hers just, mm, it was just kind of annoying. Yeah, and I don't know, the character just needed some work. It was kind of inconsistent and she was just too prim. Oh, that's what I was trying to say, prim and proper. Oh, not, okay, okay. Not preemie. Preemie. <laughs> preemie. <laughs> what does that even mean? Like, guys, I think the Duncan I had earlier did this to me. They also <laughs> messed up the order, too. Because I wanted, <gasps> like, I wanted the toasted almond, like, because they have, like, sugar-free syrup, so it's, like, better for you. So I wanted the toasted almond sugar-free in the mm-hmm. cold brew. But they gave me the sweetened toasted coconut. Oh, I would be too scared to go back to. I'd be like, oh, no, it's okay. Oh, I didn't go back. I mean, obviously, I drove there myself. It was my first time going through a drive-thru without a parent. Mm-hmm. It was just me and my sister, but it was just like, oh. And I was like, yeah. bad. and they took forever, too. Like, no offense to the Duncan, but. Oh, my gosh. My Starbucks really by my house it takes forever, like 45 minutes. No. And I don't understand how. No, I'm I, not I, kidding. I, I was thinking of going to Starbucks today. And I wanted to get that drink that you suggested, but I totally <gasps> forgot what it was. That is so good. I know. I ro- <laughs> I ro- so I wrote it. I you you snapped me like after school. Mm-hmm. So I wrote it. I got the first half, and I went to go replay it, but I couldn't hear what you said. Uh huh. So wait, should I tell the listeners what yes, it is? Yes, let the okay. listeners in. Okay, guys. So this is my secret recipe. I actually, happened on accident. Okay, so I get an iced guava passion fruit tea lemonade. And let me tell you, it is the best drink. It tastes like a pink starburst. It is just amazing to have in like the springish summer. 
So really suggest you guys go get it. <laughs> but I'm going to go next time I go to Starbucks. I have no idea when that'll be, but I'm mm-hmm. going to get it. So um, I'm just going to repeat it for the listeners to make sure I have it right. And if I'm wrong, you can tell me. So it's an okay. iced guava passion fruit tea lemonade. Yes, it is that. And sometimes, okay, one time I had it and they put way too much tea. So like, if you think that's going to happen, be like a little bit more lemonade, but it's just so good. It's okay. ultimate drink. <laughs> I'm I'm excited. Now I'm, I want Starbucks now, even though I already had Dunkin and it wasn't good though <laughs> because they messed up my order, but whatever. Okay. So next character is Nick's Robinson, Nick Robinson's character, who is Jake mm-hmm. Logan and Jake is very sweet very kind very like closed off from the world in a sense he's like that quiet boy that sits in your class that's like kind of like really smart but he's like the one that people like have a crush on in a weird way i i thought his character was so freaking annoying i have so many points okay i'm ready because i totally disagree (laughs) (gasps) oh no way okay i think Okay, first of all, how could you not tell Julian was, like, crazy? You could tell so many points. First of all, she told you to get rid of your dog. Like, who just says that? Like, can you imagine just going up to someone and be like, yeah, you should really just, like, throw away your dog. Oh, yeah, that, I I do admit, (laughs) he was dumb for that. I will give him that. He was very oblivious. I'll, I'll give you that. And second of all, like... Okay, wait, no, I don't like his mom. <laughs> oh, his <laughs> is, mom is annoying too. Like, he's about to get this award from NASA, and she was, like, making fun of him. Like, honey, that is, like, a big deal. And she was, like, laughing at him. Yes. I don't I, I That totally just made get, me upset. <laughs> I totally get. I get, I get where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. And I just think the one part about him that I didn't like is how dumb he was towards Julianne. Yeah. I didn't like him in the beginning of the movie. The end, yeah, I could work with, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I could. I don't know. It was just really, like, odd for me to, like, see his character be, like, super smart. Because, like, he's very smart. Like, that's the whole reason Julian's getting with him. But so dumb at the same time. Yes. That's a good way to put it. Like, Julianne was literally, like, evil. She was annoying. And Mm -hmm. he was just, like totally like falling for this chick like dude get it together yes get it together no like a no hate to stephanie scott because i love her i love stephanie Mm -hmm. scott like period end of story she's so pretty yeah she literally is so pretty you guys kind of look alike do we really i feel like i might have said that when we covered ant farm throwback to like episode something i can kind of see it i can see it a little bit i can see it no totally Mm-hmm. so yeah his character okay not great but i can work i with mean it, i guess i like him as an actor oh I me mean, too i loved him in love simon yeah and everything everything so i read that book but i don't know i think this was just like a blip for him and i mean he was young probably when he did this oh he definitely but, was yeah a teenager I also, the reason I also really love the movie Love, Simon is because it has Alexandra Ship in it. I don't know if you mm-hmm. know who that is. And she was in House of Anubis, which is my all-time favorite um, show. I've not actually never seen that show. Well, actually, whenever we get together and see each other, I need to show you like an episode or something. Because, okay, okay. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, whenever that is. It better be soon. I, I know. We said this like throwback to like last March when we recorded yeah. our first episode together. We ended the episode with see you soon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, because we thought we were going to SCA? Yeah. Well, there was no SCA. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, so it's, like, really kind of sad, though. Like, it's funny and sad at the same time. Yeah, because we thought we were going to see... Oh, my gosh. I don't know. It's because we thought we were going back to school, like, soon. Yeah, because we thought it was going to be, you know, like, the two weeks to stop the spread thing. Yes, that is so funny. Well, not funny, but, like, crazy world. Crazy. I can't even believe that. I just, I thought I'd throw that in there to, like, depress us a little bit as we continue (laughs) We haven't seen each other in literally, like, two years. I know. It's not okay. I don't care. I Whatever I'm doing this summer, probably not much. I'm going 
we're we have to do something we have doesn't to. it feel like we've seen each other though even well, though we, we snap have... each other every single day and yeah we like 24 7 talk yeah like we have a ever since you first got snapchat like a couple of months after camp we've snapped every single day yeah our streak is really long what is uh, it it's like it's 500 something days yeah wow going on yeah. strong guys my <laughs> longest one is like a thousand days longer than that but <gasps> oh my gosh really yeah, it's like 1,500 something. Oh my gosh. Wow. I know. Period. That's crazy. I, I, still, <laughs> I don't know. How, I wonder what like the longest Snapchat streak is. That is true. I need to look that up. Yeah, look that up <laughs> while we move on to our next character, mm-hmm. I guess, who is none other than Stephanie Scott is Julian Bryant. Stephanie Scott, love her, like I said. Ashley kind of looks like her. <laughs> love her in Ant Farm. We talked about this when we did our Ant Farm episode way back when. She, Mm -hmm. in this movie, irritated the crap out of me. Yes. I mean, she always plays this character, though. We know her a lot. It's the same thing as uh, Shake It Up, like the Shake It Up characters. Like, they didn't really try to change the character at all. Right. She kind of plays that mean girl, kind of like not very smart mean girl. Um, Dumb blonde, I guess. Yes, like that stereotype. That. Yeah, I hate that stereotype as well. But whatever. I feel like I mean I've only seen a few other movies she's been in. One of them is like Beautiful Boy. You know, it's Timothy Chalamet. Oh, but I didn't know she was in that. She doesn't talk though. She's just like a. It's like a montage kind of with her. Oh. Hmm. And I got kind of jealous because she kissed him, but it's okay. <laughs> Oh, hmm. Ashley, but, jealous. <laughs> that, that could have been you. I know. We'll keep saying that because it will be. No, I'm just kidding. Manifesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, she doesn't really, I mean, I've only seen other things, but I was thinking like, does she play that character a lot? Because she's really good at it. Like, no offense, not saying that's her personality, but she's honestly really good at it. Oh, she is. She's really good at like that irritating chick that no one really likes, but you still love her. Yeah. Yeah. So Julianne, just annoying. And she's like using him for like homework and stuff. She also had like eight different boyfriends, like one for each class. <laughs> I don't know how like you can't see that. Like, don't people know? Don't people talk about who they're dating? You know Honestly, I, mean? I don't know. I mean, I made a prediction because I don't know. This episode's coming out in like a while from when we're recording this because I'm being like productive and getting all my episodes done in advance, like period. But right. she, uh, our my school went back to like fully in person, and so like we mixed the cohorts together. Mm-hmm. And so me, I have a prediction that there's going to be so many new couples now. Oh, I see. Because the cohorts are now. mixing together, so like I you're see. seeing people you haven't seen, and like you're seeing some of the new kids that transferred in, or you're seeing like the new freshmen. Hmm. And like there, I I'll, like almost everyone's like, oh my gosh, I've never seen them before. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. So I have a prediction that's just gonna be like a fully like full blown dating fest in like a week or two. Yeah. So I'll have to keep you guys updated here on the pod because why not? Also, I don't know if I told you the story. Actually, it's kind of off topic, but I don't really care. Mm-hmm. So I found out that my principal and my entire school administration know about my podcast. Oh. And one of them has listened. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. So I walk into school and my principal's like, hey, Matthew, like, I need to talk to you. And I was like, oh, okay. What did I do? Because, like, I'm just, like, going to, like, the bad stuff. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything bad. But, you know, like, you never know. Mm -hmm. And And he was like, well, I heard you have a podcast. And I was like, yeah, I do. How did, you, how did you hear that? And he goes, well, your mom told me. <laughs> and so then the dean of academics, who is really nice, mm-hmm. I love him. And so he's like, well, what's it called? And I said, it's called That's So Matthew. And he goes, like, That's So Raven. <laughs> so, I love how he knows that. <laughs> yeah. And so now if anyone, if you are listening, potentially, I'm awkwardly hey. saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey how's it going and it's kind of funny because the episode i recorded yesterday the mm-hmm. guest used some like mi- mild adult language mm-hmm. kind of fun, like contemplating editing it out but i'm just gonna leave it in tbh i don't really care i'm just gonna mark <laughs> it as gonna ex- like 
I'm going to mark it as explicit. Like it's not on school time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, True. I've never said my school. I've barely, I've only said the state that I live in like once on accident and it edited it out, but yeah. So mm-hmm. they don't know, but Hey, if you guys are listening, I guess it's kind of creepy. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> okay. Up na- uh, yeah. So Stephanie Scott, kind of annoying, irritating. We didn't like her at all. Yeah. But love Stephanie Scott. Love her. Yeah. Love her as a person. And she also, did you know that in the, the finale song, it's called Pose. She sang that song. She did? She did. Oh, go her. The reason I know this is because back when I took a hip hop dance class, we (gasps) did a dance to that song. (gasps) Oh my gosh. I could just see you, Matt, dancing to that song. I know. It's actually kind of a good song. I mean, there's definitely a lot of auto tune. And you you know who the other person singing that song is? It's China, the guy who plays China and McLean's brother in Ant Farm, Colin <gasps> Jeffrey. No way. He sings that with her? Yes. They're just adding tons of TV show characters into this movie and just being like, okay. I mean, it's kind of weird because he wasn't even in this movie because the only one but that he, he was ever, only decom he was in was Cloud Nine. I didn't know he could sing. I think he did like a rap verse, honestly. Oh. I don't know. I don't think they okay. play the full song in the movie, but if you look it up on Spotify, it's called Pose. Okay, I'm about to be listening to it after this. Yeah, okay. So uh, who else? Is there anyone else you really want to talk about? I don't really think that anyone else deserves our time. Yeah, I mean, there's like Walker, but like he kind of looks like Cole Sprouse, like low-key at the picture yeah, I'm looking he, at right now. He does. Like uh, young Cole Sprouse. Yeah, I... I guess let's just talk about him. So he is annoying. He's like, you know, that character. He just, I don't know how to explain this character, but he's just like that character. <laughs> he's that annoying character who thinks he's entitled to everything. Yeah. And then it was just awkward when like Avalon figured out he had a crush on her. Oh, yeah. Because they would like what talk about it in what front of him. What was that? What was I think they're just trying to create drama that storyline made absolutely zero sense to me Mm. i hate when shows like force a relationship upon two characters that are interested in neither party right and that was just one of the weirdest i think relationships that they could have pushed in this entire movie yeah i mean it was a little bit like oh like the guy because he's making fun of her you know kind of thing but like it just felt pushed like there wasn't time to grow that made no sense i don't know why yeah. i just said time no, to I, grow. I got it, it like they're in a sh- in a short decom t- time span there is no time for you to develop a full relationship between c- two characters that are on complete opposite sides of the spectrum yeah i mean like savannah and jake like they worked because like you kind of see that like she's liked him for a really long time and that they kind of have s- you know she's nice and like they kind of have similar personalities Mm -hmm. where like avalon and walker have like totally different personalities they're completely on opposite sides i got it it just it was just a really weird forced relationship i think if they could have pushed anything i i would have liked to see the relationship kind of fully blossom between jake and uh the one character i can't think of her name right now jake and savannah jake and savannah I feel Mm -hmm. like if they were to actually push a relationship, like they try to push Avalon and Walker, that would have been the one. It would have worked. Yeah. Because TBH, like the way he was like flirting and stuff was like super like relatable. I feel like he was like really bad at flirting. Yeah, I see that too. But it was like a, like a, a weird, oddly cute flirting. Cause she was like, Oh my gosh, Jake, I love you. Like I've liked you for so long. It was just like, chill out yeah we're like walkers like kind of reminded me of middle school when like the a guy would like you and then try to make fun of you or like mess with you oh my gosh those people were so annoying yeah and there it was, was just so like, many people at my school in like my middle school like that the most irritating thing ever it's like when I, why am i gonna like you if you're literally making fun of me so if any guy out there is like making fun of their crush, just stop right now. Or just girl, stop. the girls in my school did yeah, it too. Yeah, or girl. Like, really? I never had any girl do that. The Actually, girls no, I do know. One at girl. my middle school, were a little 
how do I say this in a nice way in case there are some of them are listening? <laughs> we did not like you. No, desperate. desperate. Desperate, I think is a good word. Were they like, oh my gosh, let me see if, how my hand fits in your hand? Or like, yeah, they were that kind. You? They were kind of that kind of girl. And they were like always just like trying to be buddy buddy. And like you could tell that some of them had very different intentions than being really good uh-huh. buddy buddies, if you get what I mean. And right. it was just like really weird and super awkward. And there's people at my school still like like that. Like it just doesn't work. I don't think it, you need to like yeah. get to know them. And especially because I go to like a small private school compared to like you go to like a huge public school. Mm-hmm. There is just such a different chemistry. In, yeah, I see that. I don't know the private school. It's like you know everyone. So Mm -hmm, it's, like, harder to, like, find someone. But then, like, also, like I said, because now we're seeing all these new people in school, there's going to be a relationship booms. I can just feel it. Yeah, because I went to a private school from, like, kindergarten to, like, middle school. So I understand, like, you just know everyone and kind of, like, know their whole story. And now I'm in, like, a school with, like, 400 per grade. I would would love. There's, like, 400 kids in my school total. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean... It's, I feel like I know everyone, but, like, I don't. You know what I mean? I just, yeah, like, I get, I get that. Like, I, there's several people in my school. I can tell you what grade they're in. I can't tell you anything about them. But I'm, like, you're a senior. You're a scary senior. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you. So, yeah, right. nothing against any seniors out there. But you tend to scare me. Because <laughs> you guys are act very entitled. And, okay. But I don't want to come out. I don't want to come after anyone. I don't want to cause any drama here on the pod. But I guess, yes, that's it for the cast. Mm -hmm. But now we have our three different Mm storylines. So which one do you want to talk about first? I'll let you pick. Um, Let's talk about Julianne and Jake. Okay, so that's the first one in the movie. And so Jake, you meet him and he is like getting ready for school. You see that him and his dog are like besties. He wakes, the dog wakes him up every morning. It's like super cute, like a super Mm -hmm. great bromance between a dog and a guy. Right. He's like a whiz or like a teen whiz. Like if you get what I mean, like he's Mm -hmm. smart. And then we got Julianne who kind of comes in and wants to swoop in and steal him for answers and get rid of the dog. I... Okay, I like this storyline, but also it was just like, oh my gosh, just like, I Give just, up. I don't know, just, yeah, I was just like, I don't like her. I mean, I like Stephanie Scott, but the character, I was just like, stop. Like, I mean, and I mean, the storyline was like, kind of like weak a little bit. Like the whole thing was just about a science project. And that was yeah, it. The whole thing was but very weakly done. I think the motive that she right. had was very dumb. Like it felt rushed. Like this storyline, I think personally is probably the one that I enjoyed the least. Like yeah, of the same. Three. It felt really not short, but didn't have a lot of death. Yeah, it didn't have like what some what like English teachers would call like the meat, like the meat of the book. There was no meat yes, to this storyline. It was just her being jealous of a dog. Like, girl, Julie, get yeah. over it. <laughs> like, it's a freaking dog. <laughs> like, I don't understand and, where okay, her, her motive name is lied. Julianne. Yeah. Yeah, just to get a good grade. Also, like. I don't like her name. Like every time they said Julianne, like it triggered me. Oh, did like, you like have a thing, like a thing against Say Julianne's or something? Like, do you have a, like a hate? I don't know. I've never Julianne? met a Julianne. I've never met a Julianne. Just like why? Why is it together? Someone's gonna be listening to this, and their name is Julianne. So I'm sorry, but <laughs> I, I don't know. It just really triggered me. I I get where you're going in in like a really really odd sense (laughs) i just think the problem with the storyline and the way that they did it is she was doing something that made no sense whatsoever like her whole Mm -hmm. motive was against a dog like a dog like 
Yeah. <laughs> like, I just think that that's... <laughs> Say that again. A dog. <laughs> slightly concerning. Like, are you at that point in your life when a she dog okay? threatens you? Like, it just, to me, <laughs> was absolutely concerning. Like, Julie needed right? to calm down. And, like, I know I'm going on a long rant about this, but she just irritated me so much and her character just needed to like grow up like period end of yeah, story yeah i feel that and okay they also try to say they're 14 there's no like, way they're 14 do i'm 16 any of them and they look, look like 14 10 years older than i am like they don't look anything i know <laughs> and that's like another thing yeah this is i think when disney still hadn't figured out the good age group, I guess, to cast things. Like now on Disney, even I though I don't, don't think like their any shows, TV show. Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's just really Disney now has kind of gotten it a little bit better, not much. However, this I think this is probably one of the worst cases of them saying that someone is 14. Yeah, why can't they just say like they're 16? You know, people can still relate with it. I mean Maybe the kids, I mean, when I watched it, I was only like seven years old. So, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I what could that still relate with it. Choice. I don't know what that choice is. It's, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. I'll give him that. So, yeah. So there's my little rant about that. <laughs> and so now he gets this NASA certificate. Go Jake. Yay, Jake. And he basically, mm-hmm. the dog like sorts through the mail and like does something. Cause like, Julianne like sprays perfume on it and what la da da whatever it makes no sense the dog is like way too smart makes no sense like the dog is smarter than Julianne (laughs) but that's probably why she's out to get him (laughs) and oh my gosh I'm really I'm really petty today I don't know if it's just me I just feel really petty today (laughs) uh and (laughs) I'm sorry guys I don't even know what this podcast is anymore (laughs) like we're 80 episodes in and I still don't like know what this podcast is about (laughs) like whatever and so then savannah (laughs) comes in played by mary mauser and she has a huge crush on jake finds um the dog i'm pretty sure it's like murray or something and they start to worry that he won't come back but then he starts to impress julianne but julianne is like not is kind of into it but then kind of just doing it and then avalon figures out that julianne is like a scam and then uses exposes this mm-hmm. and finds out that uh, Julianne had like eight other boyfriends for like each classes. And then they run over the science project. But then Jake, the dog, is in the school somehow. I don't know what. How did the dog? Yeah, get I don't in know the how the dog got in there. <laughs> I think that was one of the weirdest, right? the weirdest parts of this movie was that parts of this made absolutely no sense no sense right like the dog like no where how why for what (laughs) how how did you open the door how did people not see you and try to grab you yeah like if a kid tried to walk into school with a dog at my school they would probably honestly probably get like detention so like I don't know I mean at our school we have like a dog that just like is at our school for some reason oh I don't remember I don't know its name it's like like a comfort dog oh it's a comfort dog oh I don't I don't know it just came this year but I've been all online so I don't really know but it just like hangs out at our school all day (laughs) that is that is interesting I find that really interesting actually I know I'll figure out more. I'll yeah, let you know. keep me updated. I'm very interested in that because I feel like, because I feel like that could also be slightly problematic. But that's really off topic, so I'm not gonna go into that. But okay, up. <laughs> so then, which that's pretty much the end of the Jake and Murray storyline. Uh, overall, if we're gonna like rate that part of the plot, I didn't like it that much. It was poorly. Mm. It was rushed. Like a three. Yeah, maybe like out of ten. A three might be generous. It just wasn't good. (laughs) I was, I I didn't like it. I really didn't. I think it's the weakest part of this movie. It Mm. just doesn't completely add up. 
so yeah now i'm getting out i'm gonna get like all these comments coming at me and they're gonna be like matthew like what was this like all you did was like whine and complain and i'm gonna be like yeah get over it (laughs) yeah get over it now Uh, so up next do you want to talk about the twin thing or avalon and holly holly Holly. what's her name i don't even know holly holly wait wait holly Hallie, Hallie. <laughs> Hallie, yeah, Hallie. Um, let's do Avalon and Hallie. Okay. So they are basically going to make this new web thing, a webazine, I think is what they call it, called Geekly Chic. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. Geekly Chic. Um, they're Geekly Chic. <laughs> oh, I I guess. They're just they're just geekly. chic they're smart no they're geekly chic yeah it's just there's parts of this movie that just like make me like do that weird like palm to face thing like that whole this Uh storyline is a little bit better but the thing that really irritated me is that they're constantly arguing like they're never satisfied i see Okay, but the one thing that just really was like, what? Okay, so you have a best friend, you know, you can think of someone and basically like, they're like, oh, we only want one of you. Wouldn't you just turn it down? You both created it together and they seem like, they seem like they've been best friends since they're like born. They live right next to each other for starters. Yeah. And all of a sudden they're going against each other. Like, I was like, okay, in real time, I would be like, oh, sorry, we're not going to do it. But that's just me. (laughs) Yeah, I totally, I totally get where you're going because I'm going to use like a fake example that I'm just making up. Like if I were to start a podcast with like a friend, say me and Ashley started a podcast about God knows what. And they, someone was like, (laughs) oh, we are going to pick up your podcast and like promote it on our site or whatever. And we'll pay you like good money. But we only want Ashley. Like Ash, I I can tell you, I feel like Ashley would just say no, like then and there. I yes, mean, I might I we, might be wrong. Yeah, we but... started it together. No, and, no, I would say I would be like because we started it together. Yeah, you that's know? the whole point. Like they started it together, and the fact that they were willing to give that up, like give up that friendship for this yeah. thing, it just is so problematic. Like, end of story. Yeah. And, and then oh, they're God. just, like, going behind each other's backs and, like, sabotaging. Yeah, that's not a friend. That's not and a friendship. And I know it's because, yeah. And I know it's Disney, like, they do that. But I was also, like, okay, but you're, like, telling kids to, like, it's okay to, like, go behind people's backs and stuff. I totally, I totally get where you're going. And I just think that this movie just needed some like reevaluations like before they completely like finalized everything just needed some reevaluations like it just didn't have mm-hmm. good messages and this storyline is has i think the worst message out of the whole movie me too me too so yeah we got that noise avalon and i can't even remember her name holly <laughs> wait no wait, H- Hallie, Hallie. Hallie, I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like spell it phonetically. Okay. So Hallie, and so they like have this John Frank thing, who is like a f- supposed French singer, and so mm-hmm. he's a fraud. However, I mm-hmm. take French at school. I do, and I don't think that half of the French that the guy was saying made any sense do you think he was just like saying random things that sounded french well it they definitely were french words however i don't think they were mm-hmm. in a grammatically correct french they made sentence. a sentence it was just like a bunch of french words oh. like thrown together I don't oh know. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not a very like fluent French speaker, but I do take enough French to know that those were French words, but I don't think that they were in a good actual French sentence. Sentence. So, mm. a little controversial there, but so this guy's actually like a really like boring guy who's like not real. His name is like Johnny Frankowski. And he Shh. ends up that like doing this article with them and like they use this as their opportunity to like 
propose this to Geekly, like that big thing, whatever. I don't know. Like, and so they go back to that, like, lady, whatever her name was, and she was annoying. She, like, was, like, mm-hmm. acting like she was, like, she owned the world. Like, no, you just own this annoying company. Get over yourself. Yeah. And so they end up. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> so, and she's, like, well, I only wanted one of you. Like, where's the other article? And then they finally start acting like friends for, like, the first time this whole movie. Like. <laughs> Yeah. I, I don't know. I, when this, they make up and, like, that whole thing. It just was so, so annoying to me. And so now they actually I pick this that. up. They pick up their little geekly chic thing. And so they have, like, all the red dots mm-hmm. all over the U.S. Like, that little thing where they, like, have yeah. the red dots. Like, it was kind of it was kind of cringy. They're like, look at all the red dots. <laughs> I don't know. So if I had to rate that one, I'd give it, I don't know, like maybe like a five out of 10. It would, I think. Yeah, I was going to say five as well. It's not as problematic as the first one. I think, like, storyline wise, however, Mm -hmm. like this message and like the way that they portrayed the characters in this movie or in this specific part of the plot just gave me the most most annoying sense of like how (laughs) they like when's it gonna end yeah that's that's what i was feeling exactly when's this gonna end and i'm sorry to anyone who loved this part of the movie i just thought it was really poor the message was bad and i couldn't stand any second of this part of the movie Mm. so yeah there's my opinion on that (laughs) I'm gonna get all these little like yeah comments whatever i don't care so the last one is savannah and emma and so they're in a store, a shoe store, and ha- uh, Hallie, I think I said that right, and the other girl, I already forgot her name, uh, Avalon, are <laughs> Avalon. there. And they're like, oh my gosh, you guys look so alike. Like, you guys should, like, do a switcheroo or something. Like, kind of, like, similar to, like, a living mm-hmm. Matty thing or, like, a twin thing. I've always wanted to have a twin. Yeah. I don't know why. I feel like really? I w- it would not be fun, though. Because, like, you'd probably share a room. And like everything, but I, I could feel, see you as a twin, though. I mean, my people think me and my why. sister are twins. Like they think that we're like fraternal. You guys twins. do look a lot. You guys look a lot alike. I know that's a lot of people say. So like maybe maybe like we are twins, even though like there's like an eighteen month like t- gap between us. <laughs> you never know. It's okay. It's okay. Like we're just right. twins at heart, and so. They like do this thing and they're gonna switch this one. The one girl's like a uh, tomboy, and the other one's like prim and proper, preemie, if you will. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so she goes to like a private school, and the one that goes to like a public school, and then you got like the three brothers, and then you got the one with the butler. Like they're complete total opposites. And so they go, and then they go. Emma, who's actually disguised as Savannah, goes on a date with Jake. And starts, like, flirting with him. And then, like, they start saying stuff that they shouldn't because it's giving away their identity. Like, they're, like, speaking in, like, first person when they should be speaking in third person or whatever because they, like, did a horrible job at the switcheroo. This is, like, the worst switcheroo I've ever seen. And so then Emma, (laughs) who is – or Savannah – whatever has lance and he was annoying we're not he didn't we didn't even talk about him he didn't deserve to be talked about he was like annoying stuck up prim preemie boy and he mm-hmm. he's been dating since like the third grade and i was like oh no oh no third grade that's like oh no let's just stop right there yeah like that should have been the first warning sign like the fact that that wasn't a warning sign is concerning <laughs> right I don't know. So he was annoying and they like did a horrible job switcherooing. So they like gave away their identities and then they have the big birthday bash. And then they like realize that Jake realizes that they did like the switch and then Lance realizes, but Lance was dumped. And then Savannah was like, or Emma, not Savannah was like, I've been wanting to do that Mm -hmm. since the third grade. (laughs) Oh my god. I mean, okay, but the first thing is like, why'd you even have to do this switcheroo? Like what was the point? Know, like, what were they just, wanting to get out of it? Like I don't even remember. Like, I think I they're think just there like was a point. Fun. I don't think there was a point. 
at all. There was no point right. to this storyline. I think it was the most pointless one. And I so mean, it was still fun though because it was like, fun because of the know, ending because of different. the ending with the song. I think that's what made it better. Yeah. And so yeah, that leads song. us to the Pose song by Stephanie Scott and Carlin Jeffrey, which ends the film. They're like all dancing. I really have no idea how that even worked out, like how they all just knew a dance. All of a sudden, Avalon and Hallie came out of nowhere, though. <laughs> Did you see that? Like in the final scene, they just came out of nowhere. Like I don't yes. think they were at the party. And then they were just there. And I was like, oh, where'd you come from? There's like, oh, hey. <laughs> I just think that this movie made absolutely no sense. I think that all the different storylines didn't come together the way that they wanted it to. Right. I mean, I mean, they tried to like have them cohesive and introduce all the characters, but also I don't know if it worked. Yeah. I don't think it worked in that sense. And now the scary thing is now we actually have to rate this movie so okay um you go first you go first okay so i'm going to give like a short brief reasoning for my answer so i'm gonna give it like a five just a plain five out of ten it's the storyline is not done well enough in the way that it should have been because you have three different storylines that are supposed to come together to the but they didn't flow in any sense the only thing that really kept them together was like one character being in more than one thing because like you have the avalon and hallie and then you had savannah like Mm -hmm. that's the only thing these storylines are so completely different and it just makes no absolutely no sense like how are the twins like there at the same time are they actually twins or are they just doppelgangers like there's so many questions left unanswered (laughs) And it just doesn't make any sense to me, like, whatsoever. Like, why did they have to do the switcheroo? Why did Stephanie Scott's character, Julianne, have it out for a freaking dog? And, like, why did Avalon and Hallie literally try to give up their friendship over this article? Like, if they were truly friends, they Mm -hmm. would have just said no, like, period, at the beginning. Like, it just didn't make any sense to me. And, <laughs> I like, see. I'm going on a whole freaking rant, but it just, the story was so weak that it didn't work in mm-hmm. any way. To the stories individually are okay, but all together in one movie, like, if they would have done maybe short films or something, fine. But this just was a hot oh, mess. Oh, that's a good idea. It's It was just a hot mess. So there's my little rant. Yeah. Um, my rating would have to be, I think, a five, too. It's like a solid, okay movie. I mean, back then, yes, I think it, I think I liked it. And I think I, 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 think I just liked it, though, because it had, I think it just had, like, all the actresses and actors I liked. Yeah, I think And I just here. liked seeing that. And... But now, like, rewatching it, I just didn't get it, and I was just confused. But I think it's a solid, like, Disney movie, because they're all like that kind of thing. I mean, not all of them, but mostly they have that kind of, like, shenanigans kind of thing. Yeah, I get get where you're going. I give it, like, a solid five. Yeah, me too. I'll just give it, like, that solid five. Like I said, it's nowhere as bad as Girl vs. Monster, which was the last thing that we covered. Nowhere near as bad. Right. (laughs) I think we th- used to think that was really good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we gave it like a three, Ashley, in that in our episode. Actually, I started a list. <laughs> I, know. I started a list. Let me pull it up. I started like keeping track of the of the episodes, like what I give them. So if I can find it really quick, mm-hmm. I can tell you exactly what we did. So we need to converse while I try to find it. So okay, what else? Like any? Do you have any other thoughts like about this movie, or was it just like not good? <laughs> Um, is there any okay I, here's a question I, do we think that there was a way that mm-hmm. this movie could have been better no <laughs> I, I mean I get the whole frenemies <laughs> thing but excuse me I think just putting them all together they were trying to be unique but I don't think they could have made it better yeah I I'm gonna st- I'm gonna say the same I don't think there was any saving grace to this film so I just pulled up our list and- my list I mm-hmm. I gave it a three, and weirdly enough, mm-hmm. you gave it a three point eight. 
I like how I said 3.8. <laughs> it's so specific. I got I kind of see my rating though. I see the 3.8. <laughs> that extra 0.8. <laughs> I had to give it something. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And so my age-old question that I ask about oh, pretty much every single episode, if this movie were to came, come out in 2021, nine years later, do you think it would be as good or do you think like it is kind of past its prime? Do you think it just wouldn't happen, period? Like where, how do we feel? Like I feel like- I think like it's definitely old. It's old. It's <laughs> it outdated. I think it just wouldn't happen. I just think that this movie wasn't good to begin with. And I don't think it's good mm-hmm. now. It wouldn't be good. It's still not good yeah. now. I mean, we're, we watched and, it today and like yesterday or whatever, and it still wasn't good. Yeah. And the kids growing up today, I mean, they have so many different personalities than we do, I feel like a little bit. So watching this, I don't know if they would connect with it. I, I mean, know. I didn't connect with it as a kid. I mean, the person I probably connected to was the most was that was Nick's character, uh, jake because he like is such an awkward flirter but i mean i don't i don't think i could have found anyone that (laughs) like fit myself like i don't think that there's one character in this movie where i was like oh my gosh i love this character it's just yeah same same i feel that well i mean maybe savannah because i used to skateboard a little bit you know but i I wouldn't call myself a tom girl though (laughs) I mean, I, it's, right. it's kind of funny. I feel I can't even see you. At, I mean, I didn't know you as a kid. I've only known you for like two years. But I mean, I just can't mm-hmm. see it at all. I don't see it. No. Yeah, I wasn't really like a tomboy kind of. I was more. But I wasn't like preemie like the, the other Pre-me. girls. Oh, so. my God. I literally made up a new word. I made up. a. New I'm going to be using that from now on. Yeah, please do. You have I don't to even... use it in every podcast now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you are, you're more than welcome to come back eventually, but we got to make sure we put that premium yes. there. I don't even know what I was saying. Like, I know <laughs> I was trying to say prim, but I started saying premium. So you got preemie, like fetch from Mean Girls. Oh. Like, kind of like that kind of thing. So yeah, I see. That's we need to define it. Mm-hmm. So what I think preemie would be like popular and like elegant and like annoying i mean yes. i think that's a good sophisticated. word sophisticated yes like yeah like she, mm-hmm. divine like she kept saying she's like divine this food is divine oh he looks divine like all she said was divine divine it's like no, okay we're gonna say we get it. preemie we're gonna say preemie so mm-hmm. well i think that about wraps up this episode of that's so matthew so yes. I want to thank you so much for coming on the podcast again for the oh, time. Thanks for having me. We've been trying to plan something out for like a really long time. <laughs> I think I feel like we. I know. And then just like I'm busy all the time. <laughs> we were going to do a Christmas episode. I remember we were going to do Noel, I think, starring we Anna were. Kendrick. But then that fell through. Yeah. Even, I think we had a whole recording day and everything. And I was all ready. I think I even watched it and took notes. Yeah. But we had we canceled last minute, which is okay with me. No way. Okay, now I feel bad. I think it's because I went to Florida. Yeah, I think it was. I think, I think, think the date, I think we had to push the original date. And then we had to push it back. And then it just didn't happen, which is okay. No, don't feel bad. I mean, I, I don't yeah. mind watching. Well, we always got next year. We. Yeah next year i mean yeah and then obviously we still have halloween for this year too i mean if you're more than welcome back to come back i don't yes. know what you talk about we still have i still have a couple of the halloween towns left so maybe maybe you'll come back eventually yes i call one <laughs> uh halloween town high Great. you should do that one halloween have you ever seen that one yes halloween town high. okay i feel like that one kind of mm-hmm. fits you i can't tell i can't yes. tell you why it kind of reminds me of you but it just does <laughs> I mean, that's cool. That's yeah, pretty cool. it's a vibe. So, yes, thank you again so much. I appreciate having you always. It's always a blast. So if you guys liked our little chit-chatting, you guys can check out some of our other episodes that we've done, such as Girl vs. Monster, episode 51, as well as episode 46, which is Ant Farm, which is a really fun one. I like that one, so go check that one out. And that's when we talked about how I've never been to a sleepover before. Me too. That's the one. That yes. I, I was I was so surprised. 
um for my anniversary which has already come out by the time that this is released i'm putting like clips from different past episodes and i'm putting the clip of you like being like oh my gosh you've never been to a sleepover before i think that's a funny one and then also episode oh my gosh. episode 37 with uh where we talk about starstruck and i'm gonna put the clip from that when we talk mm-hmm. about how they betrayed us because it they wasn't did. actually her they singing did. i'm still it, hurt i am still hurt too and mm-hmm. then what was before that geek charming which this movie is awfully similar to geek charming now that i think about it i totally forgot that we did that one episode 33 check that one out me too that was like towards the beginning of quarantine too and then the first episode we ever did was Mm -hmm. sweet life on deck OG. go check it out the og that was the best one i i think that is the best one and also i love sweet life on deck so go check it out um you guys can me too. follow me on go check Instagram. That one out. Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram at that so Matthew for updates, motivational quotes, some fun posts, all the good stuff. Uh, what else? Twitter at that so Matthew one, Facebook.com slash that so Matthew. And also I upload my upload my episodes to YouTube now so that you if you need you can turn on captions. So I'm trying to be more accessible. Mm. So all my episodes are on YouTube now, starting with episode 69 which was back in February. Uh, and yeah, so I think that's about it. Also, you guys can check out my website, that's and check out all the fun stuff on there. And subscribe to my emails, because I send emails and updates about the podcast straight to your inbox. I think that's pretty cool. Yes. So go check it out, everyone. Thank you guys so much for listening. Have a great rest of your day, night, evening, whenever you're listening to this. And don't forget to tell uh, someone about the podcast. It could be your cousin, your uncle, your aunt's cousin's uncle, whatever tell them about the podcast (laughs) and spread the word and thank you guys so much for listening bye bye